And hello there. And so last time we were looking at uh, changing the robot out to some other robot. And we could have done some more stuff, uh, like, like try to control the degrees of freedom on the spot robot, which have been slightly difficult. Uh, I want to get to the point of uh, the, the training and locomotion policy, and then I'll try that there. And so where, where we're at in the tutorial, um, you know, small series is item number four here. And I'd like to get through the weekend and possibly get down to um, differentiables and uh, uh, collision contact forces. And so these are quick little videos to try to get us all to the same place. And, you know, obviously you can try these all out on your own. I'm just copying, pasting code. I'm not doing anything um, groundbreaking, revolutionary here. But the idea here in this one is we want to be able to simulate using a GPU parallel simulation. It is the, it is the way um, today to uh, train a model uh, policy, test your model policy, fine tune, etc. Uh, at scale. And I can see, yes, I'm on one machine, a 4090. But I can see me running this in the cloud. You know, obviously I, I work for Amazon, uh, you know, running running this on, you know, 100 H100 uh, uh, P instances that we have, or G instances. So this is, this can be run, it also can be run headless. I mean, there's the the, the really uh, great factor here is we can say, turn off the um, viewer and then, you know, just you know, run this headless, um, you know, over time. So let's just run it, see what we get. We're not going to switch the robot, we're not going to switch any settings, we're just going to run it just as it is. Again, I'm monitoring my uh, memory. Memory uh, is very, very reasonable, um, which which means something like this. Actually, if I wanted to do just in time simulation, might be possible on a single board computer that can that uh, has a GPU. Haven't tried this on uh, you know a Nano, sorry, an Orin, um, but I could see if I need to do just in time simulation, maybe at the edge. Um, this could run, and and where where I couldn't have run like an Isaac Sim or um, you know locally, so there we go. It it ran, and what we ended up with is uh, you know ran it three thousand or so times. Holy smokes, yeah, it <laughs> yeah, and let's let's visualize this just to. Um, just to give it a little, a little, a little steam, a little smoke, so you can see something cool. No one clicks on your videos unless you you show the camera view. So we're gonna, comma, we're gonna. What do we need here? So we need a camera, right? Um, we have a scene. Let's. Copy some of this, make it easier. So there we have that. We have a plane. We have the robot. Um, what else do we need? The torch tiles, uh, range and step, and build environments. We're gonna say eight. I think um, that's not right. What I just changed there. So that's supposed to be. I think it's supposed to be like B. Um, yeah, yeah. So let me, let me, let me. Instead of hard coding that, I'll do this and make that that B. Okay. I think we're set. Um, yeah. Let's try it out. In the viewer, oh no, there's the viewer. I was like, I know, show viewer true. Yes, yes, everything's good. Okay, so, um, GS CUDA device memory 15 6 gigabytes. It's compiling the kernels. Again, this is really like the, the very um, basics. I'm trying to get to the um, you know, more 
training locomotion and policies by the end of the weekend. And if nothing goes wrong, kids don't bounce in on me, I'll probably have them all done. Uh, um, oh, that's to get for copy and pasting, not paying attention. Um, and so let's try this now. And if this all works, um, I'm just going to show how easy this is. Yeah, look at that. Um, super sick. And then I can randomize the the joints here and, you know, those kinds of things. I can set goals eventually. So here, this is what we want to do. Um, you know, heck for fun. Let's, let's kill this. Um, and let's grab that other robot from here. I want to see a bunch of spots fall to the ground, and it sounds like fun, right? Um, where was that? That was uh, parallel. Let's switch this robot. Now, there's going to be an issue because, oh, well, maybe not. Let's see. There might not be. Um, yeah, let's just run it and see what happens. Waiting with bated breath. There we go. All right, so it showed up. Excellent. Um, yes, uh, the, um, the degrees of freedom didn't match, and that makes sense because they don't match. <coughs> That's why I said that there, there was probably going to be an error, but it wasn't really, you know, the degrees of freedom uh, don't match. So what I would do uh, in, in a regular day is, you know, as we get further along here, is I would go uh, do a search, show up the XML file for all the joints, um, you know, try to figure out what the degrees of freedom are and move on from there. Daddy, all right. Like a Thank you. Have a good one. Right.